Hey, it's Gabriel again. I want to talk about, do you understand the money? Because for those of you that work for yourself, right? We, we see this tidal wave of people moving all across the, the business landscape that have decided to leave traditional jobs to now work for themselves. You know, I'm a huge proponent of that. I always have been. I've worked for myself for over 30 years. I just wouldn't do it any other way. I just wouldn't. I, I love to wake up and design my life on purpose so I never have to miss a moment, never miss a moment with my children. And for those of you that don't work for yourselves and you're still working for a company, again, this is just a path I've chosen. There are many people that are doing exactly what they need to do, what they're supposed to do, and what they love to do working in a traditional marketplace. But for those of you that have decided to come this direction, this video is for you. Do you understand the money? That's a big one. I'm, I don't wanna say it like this, but I guess it's the only way to say it. I'm, it never ceases to amaze me how many people decide to work for themselves at some capacity, home-based business, direct sales company, independent contractor at some, uh, at some level, et cetera. And they don't understand the compensation plan. They don't understand how the money works. They don't understand the bonus structure. They don't understand the next incentive to, to make things tick so that they can go higher uh, in, in their compensation structure. And because a lot of people still are ashamed, it's like they'll, they'll join something because of the mission, but when it comes to the money, they back out and they get apologetic. I'm here to tell you, if you don't understand how the money works, you can't explain how the money works and you don't lead with the financial gains you're gonna have a tough time being successful. Now, I know there are people that argue, look, I only did it for the product or what the company sells and I'm in for the cause of the company. And I agree with that. You, you need to have something that holds water with or without you. You, you better have something that can, that, can, <laughs> that can handle people's scrutiny and it better work and it better be helpful and it better be a great service or a product, et cetera, absolutely. But you have to lead with the money because the world doesn't need a new kind of busy. They don't need another busy. They don't need to fill their schedule with another hobby. They don't need to make play checks. They need to make paychecks. It, nobody's attracted to, I do this and this and this. Oh yeah, and I do this on the side and I make a little bit here and a little bit there. They'll say, well, good for you. And they'll just you know, high five you and move right along. But when you can lead with the money, and you can explain the money, and there is success in your venture because we should all, what do we do? We work jobs, no matter what it is, hopefully understanding how we're paid. I don't know anybody, in the, and here, here's a real indictment kind of against anybody that works in, a, in the home-based business realm generally, is the traditional working world, people know exactly what their paycheck is. They know exactly when they're going to get a raise. They know exactly what the bonuses are. They know exactly what the structure is. They know their Christmas bonuses. They know all of it. You come into a home-based business and people are like, yeah, I just share it with people and, you know, make a little bit here and there. And it's exciting. And I don't know. I don't understand all that money thing, but you know what? I, I'm just excited. I get a little check for sharing. Do you hear how that sounds? I just get a little check for sharing. Well, if you're going to get just a little check for sharing, you're going to have a club of people wrapped around you that are just looking for a little check for sharing. If you're in business for yourself in a home-based business, the entire industry, the entire model was created so that you as an individual can have leverage. You're either actively working for somebody else's dreams or you're actively pursuing yours, right? You're either fulfilling somebody else's dreams or you're actively pursuing yours. There has to be the mechanism of the financial gains. I know this sounds simpleton, but I mean, I can, I can sit down with all day long. I could have a line of people down the street that are in various home-based businesses, direct sales companies, independent consultants with various uh, products and services. I can, hey, do me a favor, explain your comp plan. I'd love to hear it. Well, um, and people stumble and they stumble bad. People aren't looking for a hobby, they're looking for a business. They want something, if they're going to do something, if they're gonna engage with you, if you are going to be a leader or a personality that they would feel confident in following, you have to be able to lead them to the next place that they're wanting to go. 
they're going to follow you, you better be able to take them somewhere. If you cannot do anything but just be super excited and get goosebumps about the products or services, but you cannot talk about the money, you're going to have a very hard time finding serious business people that want to join you. Because if you want to see what the industry can actually do when successful business people join, that treat it like a business, they don't treat it like a hobby. See, in the traditional working world, people will work, and I've said this a thousand times, they'll work for 30 years for a company, never take a sick day, miss ball games, I mean, move all over the country, miss Christmas bonuses, their department's downsized, they'll go find another job, and they work faithfully. Whether they feel sick or not, whether they want to or not, whether there's uh, a corporate politics at the water cooler, they will work faithfully for 30 years and not ask any questions. But as soon as somebody jumps into a home-based business, now all of this nebulousness kicks in, and you wonder why people have a hard time respecting it as a whole. Now, it's becoming the new normal. It's a 1099 world. It's not, not a W-2 world anymore. That has changed. You're not a nut job for joining or being in a home-based business. You used to be. But there's still a problem with the vast majority of people that cannot describe the money. And I would encourage you. I don't want to go. I don't want to beat this thing in the ground too much. I would encourage you. Get out your compensation plan. Read your policies and procedures. Write it out draw it out, go through the tutorials. I'm sure your company has it. Understand the money because if you can say, listen, if you join me in business and you share this with others, they're going to reward you with X. There's a coffee shop next to me. There's a fire station next to me here. There's a grocery store. There's a pizza joint. There's salons. There's post offices. There's, you know, brew houses. There's everything up here. Everybody working in every one of these places knows exactly what they're going to get paid because they have to pay their bills. Don't allow the slap happiness of a majority of people in a home, in the home-based business world to set the standard for you. You want to be excellent. You want to rise to the top. You want to rise to the top of your pay plan. You want to rise to the top of not just having a bunch of hobbyists that you have to want it for. Again, I'm trying to be respectful, I promise. But you can't want this thing for, 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 for people more than they want it for themselves. You can maybe in the beginning until their faith rises up, but you can't carry the weight of it. And business people that want to live a successful lives, uh, lives want better find a business or an opportunity that gives them the capacity to latch onto it and create the life that they're looking for. And if you can't explain it to them, they're not going to join you. As a matter of fact, if they ever do join, they'll join somebody that actually is treating it like a business. I'm being nice here. I don't want you to waste any more time. People will join a home-based business become an independent consultant, work for themselves. And they'll treat it so loosely that frustration kicks in. Though they were masters at working in the traditional world, right? They'll treat it so loosely that frustration comes in. And after they've told the world about their products and their opportunity, they end up quitting or not seeing very many gains. And so you have this big, loud message that you're saying. And people say, wow, yeah, I think they've been doing that forever. But remember, people are, are, they're seeing everything. They're hearing everything. They're reading everything. They're watching everything. And they know if your life is making gains because of your opportunity or not. I just don't want you to be frustrated. I have told people, point blank, I really don't think you should pursue this as a business. I really think you should just be a happy customer and just keep working your traditional job. Because, and I've said it a lot of times, because you're not, you're not gonna treat this like a business. And so you're just gonna create frustration for you, your spouse, et cetera, et cetera. You're gonna steal all kinds of time that could be better used elsewhere. If, if, if you're not gonna build this, then just work more hours at another job. Try to get to the next pay grade in your traditional work. But don't waste your time in a home-based business if, if you're not going to treat it like one and you can't understand the money and you can't share the money. 
because the entire world is commerce. I've talked about this also a thousand times. Everything you're looking at, the stop sign, well, you can't see the stop sign, the car I'm in, the, I'm gonna be hungry in a little while, it takes money. Um, the gasoline or the, or the electric, right? You're gonna have to plug it in, you're gonna have to pay for that. E everything, you go to the store. If, if, I, if you stand where you are, get up where you are right now, do it, stand up. Some of you will, many of you won't. Come on, do it, stand up. Stand up and look 360 degrees around you. Look at everything you see on the walls, down the street, wherever you're standing, in your office, in a business, in your house. Every single thing you see took money, was sold. Somebody sold it. The company knew what the profits were and the people that worked for the company that sold what any, anything you're looking at, even what you're wearing, knew exactly what they were getting paid. And yet in home-based businesses, people fall very short in that realm. Come on, guys. You want your business to change. Be money motivated. Some people have a hard time when I say that. They say, ah, money doesn't motivate me. I, I, I hear you, but everything takes money. And we act like that is some kind of noble badge to wear. Money doesn't motivate me. And they, we, wear the, we wear this badge and we walk around and, and, and talk about that. But the, the truth is, is most of that is just fear. Most people don't believe that what they do is, gonna, is going to create success. So they walk around apologetically. They won't talk about the money. Or they feel like they have to have that false humility that's been preached from pulpits, from businesses, from you know books on how to be humble. But the leaders of the world the leaders that are leading everything, the people that are making a difference in every realm, even the nonprofits have to get money from people that are making profits. Anybody that is making gains has to have transaction and has to understand the money and money has to be a part of it. And if you're working in a home-based business, make darn sure you understand how you're getting paid, how others are gonna get paid and how you can do it and duplicate it. Otherwise, you're just not gonna build your business, okay? That is love. See, I love you enough and care enough to tell you the truth because go team, you just go for it. You got this, blah, blah, blah. I'm not serving your family saying that. Make sure your spouse watches this video. Make sure you and your spouse understand the money together. One of the big frustrations I see with people that work for themselves in a home-based business at whatever capacity, I don't even care if you're a real estate agent, it's it just across the board, if you are an independent consultant at some level or, or a contractor or an agent of some sort independently, um, the spouses don't understand how the money works, can't partner with, hopefully the screen's not getting dark, is it? Is it getting dark? No, maybe it is. It just darkened on me. But the spouses don't understand how the money works, and so there's a disconnect. And when the person isn't seeing success and the spouse doesn't know how the money works, it looks like they're wasting time. And when they're wasting time, it creates frustration for everybody because nobody's winning. And when nobody wins, then you get that weird silent resentment and resistance between two parties and you'll hear things like, well, I'm not getting any support from home or my spouse doesn't you know, understand this or, or doesn't like it or whatever. And that's a whole nother teaching. I can go over that for hours as well, but just make sure you're on the same page. Hey, if I'm gonna, hey honey, I'm gonna build this business, but I've got to revisit the money because I've realized that I've treated it like a hobby and I'm not gaining any ground with it. I want you to sit down with me and help me understand how the money works. Would you do that? Let's understand the money together so at least I know what my actions, what, what when this action is applied, this is the, is the result. This is the payout for this action or for this sale or for this level of business building. That will change everything in your business. As a matter of fact, I've had spouses just lose their minds in a, in a good way. They go, you have got to be kidding me. Do you know what you're sitting on? Do you have any idea what this means? Well, no. Oh my gosh, let's do this. And suddenly that agreement happens and now they are um, seeing great gains. Make sure that you like and subscribe. It helps me a ton. I am sharing content like this all the time. It's helping people all over the world. And if you like and subscribe, 
hit the, the uh, bell notifications, you'll get notified when these, when these videos come out. And then you can be like so many of us that have said, look, I am, I am not going to spend a lifetime trying to fulfill somebody else's dreams. I'm gonna grab the reins and I'm gonna do something that can actually allow me the money and the time freedom through leverage to create the life that I want. This is the time to grab this thing. Don't hobby it anymore. You're just frustrating yourself, others. It's just not worth it. All right, guys, blessings. I will see you on the next video. Bye.